Hi, this is me again. For those who have uh, never seen me, my name is Oidov. Today I would like to introduce you with my home, the house that I built up last year, 2021. Well, what's the uniqueness of this house and why I would like to introduce this house to all of you? Well, uh, this house is the, probably the only and the first house that uh, combined the two principles together. One is, is a passive house technology and the second is a full inclusiveness. Well, why it's important? And uh, because as you know, Mongolia is very cold. It uh, sometimes it gets to minus uh, 40 degrees by Celsius and a lot of households to have a heat in the family to have a make a food by themselves and they live comfortably they have to make a fire in the stoves and it brings up much more smoke uh, and it's uh, brings a lot of smoke in the air and it's uh, not very good for uh, as it pollutes the air but well, why is the inclusiveness is important for the Mongo for all of Mongolians is well, as you know, we all get sometimes, someday get older and a lot of people don't just aware about this. And simultaneously, there's a lot of people with disabilities who just cannot get their home, get into their home just because the homes are built without any consideration of accessibility and inclusiveness. And why I'm uh, introducing this ho home is, uh, is uh, because I built this house uh, making fundraising on GoFundMe and uh, this video is first is to appreciate to those people who supported my idea and goal and uh, secondly uh, I'd like to emphasize that I'm still uh, keeping up to my fundraising campaign ongoing because still a lot of things uh, have to be done in this house and just introduce to more other people too so let's go to my home. Let's uh, see the home. The, the home is uh, overall 54 square meters. And as I said, it is, this is the first home that I uh, built up with the two principles together. Probably we first we'll see that there's a park, the car parking space, carpet parking space, and uh, there's no when the physical barrier is replaced, I come down from the from car or come from outside, from outside coming to home. Let's imagine that I will be in the wheelchair. So in right now I'm on the crutches, so there will be no any problem with accessibility and inclusiveness. Well, include when I say inclusiveness, it mean, doesn't mean that only for people with disabilities. It includes for everyone, uh, including people with uh, disabilities, elders, youngers, young people, and people who got just new babies on the strollers. Well, it's a. Uh, I didn't do. I didn't do any ramps. Maybe we'll show from this that point. Well, I didn't do any ramps, uh, no, any stairs, because the ramp is, oh, I, I don't want to call it actually a ramp, it's uh, my stairs, but the, the home is it, it's totally no steps, no thresholds, and I would call it as a ramp if there would have been some other stairs, but the, that's the main entrance to the home, so it's... No problem for everyone to come down and come up. The grades of this my stairs are very slow, uh, very low, so it's not any power needed to come up. And it's not very high. It's not very high. I can easily come come down. And go down with no problem. There is no efforts needed for that. Maybe please take the uh, shooting from that point. Let's do it. Oh, there, please. Uh -huh. 
show the terrace. So the terrace and the stairs are, are built up together. So it's no problem for everyone to come up and come down to home. The second, the home, the building itself has a one bedroom, which is on that side, one bedroom, and there's a guest room. And then, uh, uh, come up now. And um, the main door is enough wide for any kind of wheelchair strollers for everyone to come up, uh, to come in and come out. And it's also very comfy uh, to get the furniture inside. Well, in by Mongolian uh, construction standards, it has to be a little bit narrower. But I did it as especially wide because it uh, it's much more comfortable and same time. Uh, suits to the inclusiveness uh, of what I'm saying. Well, it's easy to open it up. And as you see here, there's a very small threshold and the threshold is very small. It's a, so it shouldn't be any problem for any kind of wheelchair users or strollers with moms and kids for any kind of reason. Let's get inside. Close the door, please. So, uh, this is a small hole of the building, of the home. And this side, there's a bedroom. My kid is now sleeping there, so we will not go there. And here's, um, and this side is uh, my guest room or living room, whatever you call. And this is a toilet. Can you see, uh, do you see that the, the uh, the door is uh, 19 centimeters wide and there's also no threshold. No threshold, so it means that people on uh, any kind of wheelchairs on crutches or uh, for everyone it's like uh, easy also to get inside. And one specific thing is um, my restroom is very wide. There's big compared to no uh, other standard restrooms so why i did it so is so that people are easier to come inside and take a shower in a case if i will start using the vultures so there's no any physical barriers for example i can take a shower here i'm putting in a chair up here and a little bit longer uh-huh or further take a photo a little bit further so it's uh, easy to sh uh, take a shower. The water will not come in uh, the there because the floor is as uh, uh, angle is put on on this part of the room, and this is also another part. It's easier to wash your hands in the face because it's because a little bit lower than normal construction st accessibility standards in Mongolia. And what else now we have? Uh, the toilet is equipped with the uh, bidet, so it's easy also for usage for everyone. And there is a room which is a uh, part of the, uh, we call it a technical room. There is a technical room, there is a, a heating system so for the home. Elect electrical heating system and this is a water container of the 60 uh, no 600 uh, liters of water and hot water up there so that's the, our technical room so now this is about uh, inclusiveness uh, when I say inclusiveness I mean that also I mean this kind of part as you can see I can reach my uh, my height is uh, about uh, uh, one one hundred and fifty centimeters, so I'm kind of comparably short person, and and I did so that it uh, I did put all the switches on a uh, hundred twenty centimeters from the uh, above the floor, so it's easier for kids for everyone to switch on and switch off. That's the was idea. As you can see, I can turn off lights, turn 
turn off lights, I turn off everything by myself with the, no requiring any other's assistance. Here is the guest room. Here is the guest room and uh, combine it with the kitchen so I can also go to the terrace not only from the door but also from this uh, we call it a balcony but it's actually not balcony it's just a terrace window I can go here and with no pro uh, no problem with any accessibility issues as you can see there is a small threshold which is not higher than five centimeters which is mean it's possible to get over with the, any kind of wheelchairs, strollers, crutches, or any older people. So uh, there's a window up there. I can also reach that window myself with no uh, problems. So all this me, uh, all this kind of small kind of, but at the same time important issues make this home very accessible and inclusive for everyone not only for me I, what I'm saying not only for me but also for everyone let's imagine there will be elder people living in my home buying or leaving let's imagine that some uh, young family with the kids would live here they would also have no problem with that any kind of accessibility the second issue of this home let's get out of the home Second issue of this home is that uh, it has a very warm. As you can see now, it's a uh, uh, 23 uh, temperature by Celsius. It's uh, because of we have heating system. At the same time, it's why it's a. Uh, I made it, the home is very warm, very insulated, very with the thick walls. The thick. Thickness of the walls is a uh, overall is a uh, 40, nearly uh, 45 centimeters wide. Please show the wall. It's a very wide wall, and it's a. Uh, as you can see, this is a very wide wall. Hey, hey, buddy. Here's my dog Scotty, my companion. We play together. So why I made this home is, uh, as I said, uh, the second uh, uh, principle or second uniqueness of this home is very uh, warm. When you warm, you use uh, less electricity, and when you use uh, less electricity, you become very much eco-friendly home. So I call the home as eco-friendly, inclusive laboratory house. So why I built this house? I built this house because I wanted to have the first example in Mongolia so that people see what is mean inclusive and eco-friendly house. And secondly, I want, uh, I'm going to bring uh, students from the medical universities like uh, for studying for occupational and physical therapies. Same time uh, students from the technical university so that they could had a, some certain practical view and uh, have seen uh, what does that mean uh, inclusive and same time very um, how to say eco-friendly uh, house we, we don't uh, make any fire we just use electricity but when uh, you use the, uh, when we use electricity it's I would guess uh, even four times uh, less than just a normal or traditional way of building a house. In this way, we kind of bringing a contribution to homes and uh, no, uh, contribution to air of uh, anti-air pollution things, uh, activities. So that was the, my home. You open to Come to my page, it's called Passive and Inclusive Lab House in Mongolia. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you got a questions, you can uh, drop down right down on the under the video on my YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye bye.